liquid filaments for silicon printing, new bigger Prusa Core 1 L3D printer, an open source RFID standard for filament spools are just a few of the big announcements from Prusa Day event that the company held in October. What are the cool stuff that they reveal? Let's talk about it. Hello and welcome back to the channel. On the 24th of October, Prusa invited some of the journalists and creators from all over the world from the 3D printing community to an event called Prusa Day. The event was held in the planetarium in Prague, which was recently renovated and now has this biggest LED dome in Europe. Prusa used this big impressive screen to share updates about the company and some big announcements. Prusa just shared the video from the event and now we can talk about everything that was revealed there. They briefly shared updates about the growth of the company and that they built three new factories, including one in the US, and that the number of people working for Prusa now grew to 1200. Straight after that, they shared the first big announcement, which is the Open Print Tag, which is an open source RFID standard for filament spools. The system uses these circular tags, which are inexpensive, rewritable, open source, and can be used across all the brands. Prusa basically wants this to be the new standard for filament spools. They are releasing it to public with no license fees, urging other companies to also use it as a standard. These tags essentially make any of the spools smart. This is super cool because now the printer will not only know what type of filament it is and what color, but also how much filament is left on the spool. And the tags are rewritable so the printer can also save information, basically how much filament it used, so you always know how much is left. Hopefully more companies will implement the standard so we all can have universal smart spools. They also said that every spool of Prusament from now will have these tags included. On top of that, they redesigned the spool to be slimmer so that it will fit to any multi-material system that is currently on the market. The second big announcement was Signature Oak, which is Prusa Core 1 3D printer in a stylish 100-year-old oak enclosure. Just one year ago, during the Prusa Core 1 reveal, they showed a version of the 3D printer in this bamboo material enclosure. At the time, it seemed like a job at Bamboo Lab, but now it looks like it was just a proof of concept. Joseph Prusa said that this was a passion project for him because his father was a carpenter and working with a local family company that he knows, he wanted to create this special version of Core 1. I have to say this printer looks really unique and I wouldn't mind having it in my living room. There will only be 250 of those created and each of them will have unique signature. There's no price tag on this machine but if you want a quote you can ask for it on the website. They also revealed a new 3D printer which is Prusa Core 1L which is a bigger version of the Prusa Core 1 that was released last year. Besides this printer having a bigger print volume which is 300 by 300 by 330 millimeters, this printer also has big improvements compared to the previous version. One of the major one is the new convection AC heatbed which is made out of solid aluminium block and can now heat up faster and more evenly. The print bed also has two fans underneath it which can circulate the air more efficiently and heat up the chamber up to 60 degrees celsius. There are some other improvements like the automatic opening and closing of the vent depending on the materials you're printing, new better HD camera, a physical switch for loading flexible materials like TPU, or the fact that the printer is now bigger but still has the same weight as the previous version. Also they say the printer comes fully pre-calibrated from the factory so you only have to take it out of the box, connect the screen and turn it on, then you can start printing. That seems cool. Next thing they announced or rather only teased is the Prusa Slicer 3.0 which they didn't say much about only that the open betas will come early next year but from the teaser pictures they shared you can see that at least looks like there's gonna be a tap option that within one project you can have multiple tabs open. Joseph Bruce also said how they take security seriously and that they offer a special fully air-gapped version of the Core 1L for defense sectors, government and other enterprises. This special version features custom mainboard with no Wi-Fi module, no camera and it comes with encrypted certified USB drive. Now the last big announcement and in my opinion one of the coolest are the liquid filaments that they just revealed. Prusa cooperated with a startup company called Filament 2 to create new special filaments. They showed a special two-part filament that enables the Prusa XL to actually print silicone, just like a normal FDM filament. This technology looks super cool. They created a special tool head for the Prusa XL and also a special filament that looks like a normal filament, but actually it's a hollow tube with liquid inside. That filament is fitted into the tool head where it's 
being cut and the two filaments are mixed together in the nozzle and are able to print silicone. It's crazy. Not only this enables a normal FDM printer to be able to print materials that are not FDM ready, but also thanks to Prusa XL toolhead, you can combine a normal PLA, ABS or PETG to be able to be printed together with silicone, which creates a new range of options and creativity. They announced that in the future there will be more materials available with these type of liquid filaments like chocolate or even epoxies. But for me this looks super cool, it's crazy that you will be able to do this at your home with just a normal FDM machine. What they didn't reveal during this presentation and what a lot of people were waiting for was this T's tool changer for Core 1 that they were working on with collaboration with Pontech. I guess we will have to wait for Formnext to learn more about it because they did say they are coming to Formnext this November. This was the summary of the announcements that Prusa shared during their Prusa Day event. Let me know what you think about the big announcements and also if I missed anything that was important. I personally think that it's a great year for 3D printing. There's so many amazing innovations that are coming to the consumer market. I can't wait for Formnext this month to see what type of innovation are gonna be shown. I also can't wait for the Bamboo Lab to reveal the H2C. I can't wait for Prusa to reveal the Bontech tool changer for Prusa 1. It's just crazy. I'm really happy that a lot of companies are releasing new products. The competition is always good for the consumer. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Well, this is it for this video. That's it from me for now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.